have a story. Well, it isn't really my story. It belongs to someone I knew. Welcome to Ms Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 murder mystery book to TV adaptations. If you're writing for yourself, it's pure passion. Maybe you'd let me read something of yours? For this list, we'll be looking at the most spine-chilling stories that made their way from page to screen. Warning, some spoilers ensue. After the video, let us know in the comments what your favourite mystery novel is. Number 10. Pretty Little Liars Before becoming a mega television hit, this teen thriller started off as a series of novels. Written by author Sarah Shepard, Pretty Little Liars follows the members of a high school clique whose lives get turned upside down when they begin to receive ominous messages three years after the disappearance of one of their own. Oh my god. It's from I got one too. I'm still here, bitches. And I know everything. A. The TV series birthed two spin-offs, Ravenswood and Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionists, and most recently the upcoming Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. Full of mystery, intrigue, and of course, adolescent drama, PLL is one of the most successful young adult franchises to make the leap from book to TV. Tonight you get to be me. Now you see what I see. Number 9. The Undoing Originally titled You Should Have Known, this 2014 novel from Jean Hanf Korolitz went from page turner to episode binger when it debuted on HBO. God, this is awful. Um, what do they know? Do they know who did it? No, nobody seems to really know. Anything. Adapted by David E. Kelly, the thriller stars Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant as a pair of spouses, whose seemingly happy marriage starts to unravel after they become entangled in a murder investigation. Despicable directions. With twists and turns at every corner, the story takes viewers on a winding journey to figure out who the killer is and why someone would commit such a heinous crime. Set against the backdrop of New York City, The Undoing is a mystery that'll keep both readers and viewers guessing right until the last second. Dad, stop! Yeah, in a minute. Stop in a minute. Car, I then. want every last second with you, my friend. Number 8. The Sinner This anthology series serves up a new story every season, each slightly more sinister than the one before. I'm telling you, I've never met him before. Then why kill him? Because they were playing that music and they kept turning it up. While the cast and characters changed, Bill Pullman appears regularly as homicide detective Harry Ambrose. In season one, he investigates a disturbing crime of a woman who unprovokedly murders a man in the middle of a crowded beach. She already confessed. Post Miranda? Yeah, got all that. It's, it's crazy, man. She just seems so normal. It's the mom with her kid. Jessica Beale stars as the woman in question, Cora, whose story was originally written by Petra Hammersfar in the form of a novel. No matter the medium, both versions of the story are equal parts disturbing and chilling. You know, the mind plays tricks. You know, you, you get all of that adrenaline going and, you know, you see things that aren't there. Go ahead. What are you remembering? Dummy. Number 7. The Assassination of Gianni Versace, American Crime Story In 1997, the world was shocked by the brutal assassination of fashion icon Gianni Versace. Murdered outside of his Miami home, details of the shooting played out as the world watched. The press and the police will wreck through his life. Every rumour, every indiscretion, 
El just the killer, yes, but el just the victim too. Following the tragic event, Vanity Fair correspondent Maureen Orth wrote a book, Vulgar Favours. This eventually became the inspiration for the second season of Ryan Murphy's true crime series, American Crime Story. So he didn't talk about Versace. He didn't stop talking about Versace. Look, we all talked about him. Featuring a cast including Darren Criss, Penelope Cruz and Edgar Ramirez, the series relied heavily on its source material to provide an in-depth look into the events leading up to the incident, tackling one of the most infamous crimes of the 20th century. You live in isolation, surrounded by beauty and kindness. You have forgotten how ugly the world can be. Number six, The People versus O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. During the mid-90s, America was glued to their televisions, watching the events of one of the most infamous murder trials unfold. It's like the world's longest Ford Bronco commercial. He said that uh, O.J. Simpson was armed and dangerous. He should be considered dangerous. Over 20 years later, Ryan Murphy centered the inaugural season of his true crime anthology series, American Crime Story, around the case and the Jeffrey Tubin book, The Run of His Life. Chronicling the O.J. Simpson trial, ACS gives audiences an in-depth look at the case that shook a country to its core. So you can tune into your late local news, which will have plenty about how all this unfolded. So for right now, Dan Rather with Connie Chung, John Blackstone, and our colleagues at KCBS in Los Angeles. We're taking him to trial. Starring Cuba Gooding Jr. and Sarah Paulson, every episode of the series peels back another chilling layer of the notorious story that is still a hot topic of conversation. He was making a knock of that. I mean, you saw what he was doing. Number five, you. Penn Badgley stars in this thriller that takes you inside the mind of Joe Goldberg, a serial killer with a passion for books and a dangerous habit of falling in love. At the end of the day, people are really just disappointing, aren't they? But are you, Beck? Are you? Sharing its title with the Netflix adaptation, the book version of the series by Caroline Kepnis is a page-turner where an antagonist takes the wheel of the story and straps you in for one wild ride. Full of toxicity and obsessive behaviour, the series follows Joe as he digs himself deeper and deeper into a maze of poor decisions and delusions. Everything I have done, I have done for you. Even this? Even this? As the series progresses, it seems that it may only be a matter of time before Mr. Goldberg gets his just desserts. I'm going to show you who you really are. And when you see it, you'll beg me to turn you in. It's going to be really fun. Number four, The Haunting of Hill House. American author Shirley Jackson is a prominent voice of the horror genre in the world of literature. Why is that, honey? Because there are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Many of her texts have been adapted to the screen, including Netflix's loosely based adaptation of The Haunting of Hill House, which became a smashing success for the streaming service in 2018. Our moments fall around us like rain. <laughs> or snow, or confetti. The supernatural thriller jumps back and forth through time to tell the story of the Crane family and their relationship with a haunted house from their childhood. Full of ghosts, scares, and supernatural flair, Hill House is a family drama disguised as a haunted house romp that can make you cry one minute and jump the next. Never been prouder of anything. Anything. Ever. Number three, Big Little Lies. 
With an all-star cast and storyline that hooks you in from the get-go, Big Little Lies was a surefire hit when it debuted in 2017. It wasn't just the mothers, it was the dads too. Think about fundraisers. Everybody wants to prove who's the richest. They're vicious. Add alcohol to the mix and the fact that women don't let things go. They're like the Olympic athletes of grudges. Featuring Oscar winners Nicole Kidman, Reese Witherspoon, and Nora Dern, the series focuses on the seemingly perfect lives of married women living in Monterey, California. However, beneath all their wealth and supposed happiness, something dark brews. Something had to be wrong. So elegant, so volcanic. Madeline McKenzie. Things never blow over. Once Madeline gets involved, they blow up. Based on the novel by Leanne Moriarty, Big Little Lies was so successful that an unplanned season two was created, just to give audiences an extra dose of the Monterey Five. Gossip for another day, but she told me that she heard Quinlan say, like, the case isn't closed, closed, but they've got nothing. Number two, Sharp Objects. Known for creating one of the most chilling novels in modern literature, with Gone Girl, Gillian Flynn is no stranger to the mystery genre. Before she penned her breakout novel, Flynn wrote Sharp Objects, which was made into an HBO miniseries in 2018. I have a right to be here. And I'll let you do your job if you let me do mine. The Southern Gothic thriller revolves around a journalist who returns to her hometown in the midst of a string of grisly murders and to face her own family trauma. Camille, I just don't understand why a young woman like you would want to even dwell on such things. Well, it could be an important story and uh, being from here... I knew those children. I'm having a very hard time, as you can imagine. Amy Adams and Patricia Clarkson play mother and daughter in the series, which has a horrifying ending that is hard to shake off. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. The Hardy Boys adaptation of the mystery novels about teen detectives. Right, I'll help you guys. However long it takes. Whatever it takes. So, what do we do? We just need to figure out how this is all connected. Midsummer Murders, long-running English mystery series adapted from the Chief Inspector Barnaby novels. Morning, Troy. Morning, sir. Forgotten name. Gerald Hadley, if it is him, he's not quite recognizable. Agatha Christie's Poirot long-running series based on mystery writer Agatha Christie's detective character. Who are, are you, Mr. Poirot? I am Hercule Poirot, yes, mother. Oh, you're not a bit how I thought you'd be. Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, a jazz-era-inspired period piece about a fancy detective in 1920s Australia. You know, I'd be happy to step in if it would be of any help. I do have performance experience. Really? And I need to be around the station in any case. The Haunting of Bly Manor, based on author Henry James's famous ghost story, The Turn of the Screw. All right, then. Ghost story. Again, this story isn't mine, but it is full of ghosts of all sorts. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mindhunter This Netflix drama brings the audience up close and personal with some of the most notorious true crime figures of all time. In the event of your death, if you're taken hostage, attacked, assaulted, or otherwise abused within the correctional facility, the United States government forswears any and all liability. Oh. Okay. Based on a novel by former special agent John E. Douglas and writer Mark Olshaker, the series follows FBI agents who launch a program that involves interviewing serial killers in an effort to better understand the psychology behind their crimes in the 70s and 80s. I'm just an extremely accomplished murderer who spent my adult life successfully evading capture. Until I gave myself up because I despaired of ever being caught. 
so take it or leave it. Many of the interviewees are famous killers from history, featuring dialogue inspired by real-life interviews. Some of it's even verbatim, making this true crime series even more bone-chilling. There's one thing I know, it's this. A mother should not scorn her own son. If a woman humiliates her little boy, he will become hostile and violent and debased. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.